stop the Earth. Whoa, 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 stop right there. Did you know our planet is spinning slower than it used to? Want to know who did it and how? It all comes down to one giant dam. Damn! But here's the twist. It's not just about size. Built by China, this megastructure slowed Earth's rotation. NASA confirmed it. How is that even possible? Listen up, forget what you knew about dams. The Three Gorges Dam beats 10 Hoover Dams. 2.3 kilometers long, 185 meters high. This isn't just a dam, it's a concrete Godzilla, capable of drowning entire cities or saving them from floods. It holds enough water to fill over 15 million Olympic swimming pools. That's basically one pool per household in the US. And all that mass stacked up high in a reservoir, it's messing with Earth's balance, literally. And here's how it works. Picture a figure skater on the ice. When she extends her arms, she spins slower, pulls them in, spins faster. Earth does the same trick. When mass moves farther from the axis, the planet slows down. NASA says the dam slowed Earth spin by 0.06 microseconds daily. Tiny? Yes. But the effect adds up. Don't mountains also count as mass away from the axis? Absolutely. But mountains have always been there. We don't know how fast the Earth would spin without them. Now imagine pumping billions of tons of water into a desert. The Earth will spin slower first by microseconds, then milliseconds. Did China know this dam, built for regional needs, would have global consequences? Because dams aren't just power plants. They control floods. They quench dry lands. They govern rivers, and rivers shape nations. Most major rivers in Asia begin in China, and whoever controls the flow controls the fate of millions. Now here's the wild part. We've talked about Van Dam. We've talked about one dam, but there are over 68,000 of them worldwide. Each one shifts mass. Each one nudges the planet. So yes, Earth wobbles, and we rock the cradle. And the dams keep coming, bigger, taller, heavier. This isn't just a story about hydropower. It's a story about how humanity has learned to ever so slightly move the Earth. Maybe in a thousand years, gravity will feel different and will bounce like kangaroos just to stay grounded. Days might shrink. Less coffee, more days. Or maybe longer, with weekends that stretch on and on. Drop a comment, subscribe to The Mess, and make sense of the global chess.